Welcome to the second episode of Speed Squad. Today we're gonna be talking all about weapons and how to use them to their highest potential. Weapons in Cruelty Squad fit into four different weight categories, which I've named light, medium, heavy, and very heavy. Light weapons don't slow you down at all, meanwhile every other category slows you down further. The Iron Works looks being the heaviest weapon in the entire game. During speedruns, it's best to drop heavy weapons as soon as you don't need them and especially when trying to exit a level, so you can optimize the amount of time you're going at maximum speed. Here's a list of every single weapon in the game, organized by how much they slow you down. Armor and Cruelty Squad can be broken by explosives and specific weapons with AP ammo. Armored enemies have this kind of shield that you can break with them, allowing you to deal damage to them with normal weapons. You can tell whenever the shield breaks because instead of shooting sparks, the enemies start bleeding. By the way, locked or broken doors can also be destroyed with AP. These are all the armor piercing weapons in the game. So rocket jumping works by simply jumping and boosting yourself with the blast of the rocket. You need the tactical blast shield to do this and not take damage of course. Rocket jumping becomes a lot more effective if you do a kick jump before shooting, which also allows you to continue building momentum upwards with multiple rockets. So the way you do this trick is basically you want to kick first and then right at the very very end of the kick you want to throw your gun and immediately after pick it back up like this if you don't pick it up it'll just look like this so basically uh, you wanna pick it right back up so you can do this endless times Holy shit. this is particularly useful if you want to kill an enemy that is far away and you don't have direct line of sight with them. Yep. This glitch requires you to have a burst weapon on hand and the baton on your other slot. The glitch works with the X20, B99 and Stern's M17. To do it you simply have to shoot, continue holding M1 and switch to the baton before the burst is over. This makes your weapon deal insane damage for whatever reason. It can even kill the HQ target within 2 bursts. This is much easier to do with the stern since it shoots full auto bursts. By the way, if you miss any shots while doing this glitch, your game will crash instantly. Ok, before the video ends, I just want everyone to know that the dart gun is not a troll weapon and is actually extremely useful for breaking windows, doors and vents. It's actually one of the best weapons in the entire game for all of this. So that's the end of the video everyone. Hopefully I actually managed to teach you some of these speedrunning tricks. And I think I'll see you guys until the next episode of Speed Squad then.